All right, this morning, um, this is hopefully going to be really quick. Uh, this is about uh, the Talking House AM transmitter. Um, this version, this one is version 4.6. It's a slightly older version. Um, I'm going to talk about how to improve the sound quality of this unit. Um, out of the box, it's pretty tinny and um, seems to be does, uh, configured mostly for voice and not music. Um, there's some quick, simple fixes. Uh, just a little bit of experimenting that you can do to improve it and also how to possibly get rid of hum. Uh, the units have a problem with hum on the uh, when they're transmitting. Um, so what we're going to do, do is first I'm going to open it up. explain some of what you see here. Um, so this wire here is the antenna. Uh, I guess you call it tuner. Um, basically when you pick a frequency uh, and you have your antenna on the back on this wire lug here, uh, it doesn't work with the external antenna. Only this one. Uh, what it does is you get a, an antenna that's roughly three, 3 meters, 9, 10 feet long, and you lay it out horizontally. Um, it seems if you lay it vertically, it uh, doesn't always work very well, at least not for me. Uh, so what it does is you pick a frequency, and then this, this slug will measure... Um, I, I looked up the patent. It does something with the voltage coming off the antenna and uh, modifies these slugs until it gets a, a voltage match of some kind. Uh, suffice to say it just matches the antenna, the uh, transmitter to the antenna and the frequency you've picked. Um, in this one when I bought it, it came from eBay, uh, this was stuck. So if you hear it clicking, uh, it means that this is stuck. I just had to twisted a little bit and it unstuck and it was fine. Um, so the next thing is how do you what do you do about improving the sound quality? Well I um, read some uh, stuff on some uh, forums and basically this is the gist of it. Uh, at least in the 4.6 version and possibly 5 I don't know if it if this applies to any version before 4.6, you look for a capacitor marked C301, and that capacitor is right there. And we're going to zoom in on that. And this, at least in mine, is a 0.1 microfarad uh, capacitor. Um, If you want to improve the bass response, what you do is you take and start with like a point zero one five capacitor, and you just connect it across while it's transmitting. You get it all up and running, get it transmitting, tuned in properly. Put your uh, AM radio tone flat in the center, and uh, you apply a point zero. 1.5 capacitor across the legs of this and observe how it sounds. And then you move up to a 0 0.022, 0 0.033, and so on. And pick the one that sounds best to you. In my case, I kind of liked it at 0 0.015. And this gives you the effective capacitance of 0.115 in my case. Uh, uh, you don't have to desolder solder this. Some people have said that they've soldered onto the legs of this, but I found that 
right behind it this resistor and this jumper are connected to the legs of that so you can solder just to them so that's what this orange drop is I recommend using either an orange drop, a mylar or, mylar or a polypropylene I don't recommend ceramics um, one of these green ones uh, would work just fine voltage anything I think over about 15 I'd say anything over 20 volts would be great do not use an electrolytic um, I have read and have not tried but if you uh, find capacitor C337 in forgot where that was. It's a little tiny capacitor. Um, oh, there it is. Okay. It's right here. Uh, yeah, there. This is a, I believe it's a 47 picofarad. Um, some people have said increasing that or uh, reducing that to like a 0.3 something or smaller picofarad increase in improves the high end. I didn't really worry about it. Uh, one thing about this is if you're using the line in um, something like an iPod, um, iPods for some reason do not sound good on this thing. Um, you can uh, you can mess with the EQ in the iPod, but the EQ in the iPod is uh, it's like very subtle. It doesn't seem to change the sound very much. Um, I found that a just a generic MP3 player works fine. Um, uh, one thing about it, uh, if you have to keep the volume down on your MP3 player. Uh, you want to bump the volume up until you start hearing clipping or um, kind of a, I don't know, crackling. It's hard to explain. And then back the volume down until you don't hear that anymore. And then to control the volume on your radio. Uh, because this thing will, will clip pretty badly. Um, oh, and as for hum, um, some people have suggested on the AC adapter to install one of these since the uh, ground and the neutral side are tied together uh, somehow this causes it to the hum to be transmitted into the device and there was a slight um, improvement when I put this on I also put plugged this into an isolation transformer and that helped a little bit but the thing I found that worked the best was uh, to when you have your antenna connected to the back, uh, take a ground wire, let's say you run your antenna along the wall horizontally, maybe three or four feet up, um, you would want to run a ground plane below it, um, which, would, which would be like another wire connected to the chassis. Um, Ideally, I think it would probably be best if it was a metal plate, um, the length of your line. Um, what I, the way I found that this might be the case was partially by reading, but um, I was my desk was all covered with junk, and I had it sitting on a drawer, and the drawer had some bare spots on the paint, and whenever I moved this around, the case would touch one of those bare spots and the sound the hum seemed to be reduced so what I did was I connected a jumper to the case and to the bare spot and the hum improved a little bit 
but what I had to do is I had to unplug the power which that's another thing this thing doesn't have a power switch on it um, unplug the power and then had it connected to the antenna and to the ground or to the K uh, to my bench frame which travels all along one wall and it was in the same plane as the uh, the antenna um, turned it back on and it recalibrated and there was almost no hum at all so you might have to experiment with that um, but I think that's it otherwise you know it's AM um, you're gonna get AM sound and uh, it works fine um, you can plug in a microphone or a line in um, Oh, and that's another thing. Don't plug in uh, when you have your iPod or your MP3 player. Uh, it, it works best if they are not plugged into power. Uh, they should be on battery or on an isolated uh, power connection. Uh, some of the hum was coming through that also. So that's it.